Hello, we're back and we're going to continue the process of getting Moodle locally installed for development work. So I've already installed MAMP on my machine and now I am ready to download Moodle. First thing I want to do though is I kind of want to follow the uh, Moodle instructions. So here I am on the Moodle website, moodle.org. I'm going to click on documentation. And in the center, you should see installation. We're going to go to installation quick start. And let's go down and see what we got. So we've taken care of the basic requirements. We've got, a, uh, we got MAMP running on my machine. So we're ready for the next step, which is getting Moodle. And you've got two options. You can either download it or you can... Uh, clone it from their git repository. We're going to download it because I kind of want to give a perspective of what it's like using Moodle if you're say not too familiar with command lines. Um, I'm I guess you would call me kind of a, a web developer. Um, I know how to program code but uh, I don't like command lines for some reason don't ask me why you can go ahead and make fun of me all you want uh, but I kind of want to show this uh, so that uh, those of you who perhaps are not um, perhaps are, are like me just kind of uncomfortable with uh, uh, messing around with servers uh, I wanted to show how you can get Moodle up and running and get it ready for, you know, testing and uh, so forth. Anyway, enough talk. Let's go to the download section because we're going to do it that way. Okay, so we're at Moodle Downloads and click here for the latest release, Moodle 2.9. And we're given two options. Um... I'm not exactly sure what is the better of these to pick. We've got Moodle 2.9 Plus, which looks like it's built weekly, but it is stable. And then latest official update of Moodle. I guess I would expect it to be, you know, 2.9 point something else. But it doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and uh, download... Um, one at the top. I'm going to download the zip. And it's now starting to download. Looks like it's going to be 48 megabytes, so we should be able to have it get through downloading Moodle. I know it's pretty, pretty simple, almost stupid to have a movie about this. But in the next one, we're going to follow, go through the steps in the documentation page. because uh, we've got the Moodle files, but now we're going to have to do things like create a database. And we'll do that in the next movie. Thanks for watching.